Hello. Got a quick problem for you and for you. Mm -hmm. Here's a bottle with a stopper. And together, the bottle and the stopper cost 22 cents. 22. The bottle costs 20 cents more than the stopper. Yes. How much does each cost? Oh, that's easy. That's 20 cents and that's 2 cents. Wrong. Uh -oh. I wonder what you got. Yeah, that's actually 21 cents and that's 1 cent. Oh, the difference between my two answers, 20 and 2, is only 18 that's cents. That's right. Mm. And in fact, if that's 21 cent and that's 1 cent, that bottle costs 20 cents more than the stopper, but together, 21 and 1 is 22 cents. Of course. But that's not what I wanted to talk about, eh? This is what I wanted to talk about. There's a bottle with water in it mm -hmm. and a bottle with the same amount of coffee in it. There they are, identical. Mm -hmm. And I've got two identical glasses. And I'm going to pour the water into one and the coffee into the other. And there we go. You'll notice that they come up to exactly the same spot on the glass. Great. I think I'll have the coffee. No, no, no. Not yet, you won't. Because I have to do some mixing. Right. In fact, I take a spoon and I take one spoonful of coffee, yes. put it into the water, and I stir it up. Mm -hmm. Not so appetising now. No. But I take one spoonful of the mixture, exactly the same amount, yes. and put it back, back into, into the coffee, coffee, and I mix that up. Now, here's the problem. I've put water into the coffee and coffee into the water. Yes. Have I added more of that to that, or more of that to that, or is there exactly the same amount of one in the other? Let's see, we started with coffee here, then that went into That's the water. It's going to take him some time. Then we we'll show you the answer at the end of the program. Back into coffee. Now we've got most... with coffee there. We'll I think it's time to give it away, Dean. Back there. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Well, the answer is that you have exactly the same amount of water in the coffee as you have coffee in the water. Really? Hmm. How did you figure that well, out? Well, it's easier to show you with something else than mm. try and explain it, I think. I'll do it with packs of cards, because mm -hmm. you can try that at home. There's a pack of ten cards, yes. and they're face down, dark, we'll call them coffee. Another ten cards, face up. Water. Water, right. Mm -hmm. Same amount in each, just like a glass. Yes. Now I take a spoonful. It could be any size, but I'll make it three cards. One two, three cards of coffee, one spoonful, and put it into the water, and you mix it up the way I did. Shuffle them, any right. way I like. Now, the great trick is you must transfer the same size bundle back again, and I did that with mm -hmm. a spoon, if you remember, in the coffee yes. and water. Right. So grab three cards, doesn't matter which cards, but you take three off the top and shove them back in. All right. One, that's a water card. Two, coffee card. Three, a water card. So the water and the coffee bundles are once again the same size. Right, but how can you show to me that the same amount has gone this way as that way? You fan yours out mm -hmm. and you'll see. I've got two water in my coffee. Oh, and I have two coffee cards in my water. And it'll work like that every time. In mm -hmm. fact, that's the basis of many very good card tricks. If you don't believe me, grab a pack of cards and try a few rounds yourself. Goodbye. See you next week.